In this topic, we are going to uh, talk about the third approach to international compensation, which is called the local plus approach. It is something which has emerged as a new concept, uh, which is uh, basically because of the uh, increasing rate of globalization and many companies uh, opening up in different parts of the uh, in different parts of the world. Earlier, uh, the basic model was that there were U.S. multinationals and they used to op open their subsidiaries in other parts of the world or European organizations, most, uh, 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 most of it. But now that there are many Asian, um, Asia-Pacific region uh, companies which are uh, globally expanding, so uh, they cannot go according to either the uh, going rate approach or the balance sheet approach. So this is a combination of the going rate approach as well as the balance sheet uh, approach, which takes into account uh, both the local challenges as well as the global challenges which are uh, which are attached with compensating pay people in that particular location and according to the strategy of the organization. So this is called the local plus approach. So now let's take a look what the local plus approach, uh, what are the elements of that. The local in the local plus approach, the expatriate employee is paid according to prevailing salary levels, structure and administrative guidelines of the home country. Basically, it, the, the person is paid according to the salary structure and the administrative guidelines of the home country, which is the parent country. Plus, you can see that they, I've made a bold plus in that. Uh, plus the expatriate type of uh, benefits in recognition of the foreign status. So it is not something which will follow the going rate approach completely. कि जो market का rate चल रहा है subsidiary level पे उसी को employ कर लिया जाए या it's not going to follow the balance sheet approach completely कि जो home country की pay और उसकी compensation packages हैं उन्हीं को as it is apply कर दिया जाए local context के अंदर बल्कि आप इन दोनों का combination लेंगे base आप अपनी home salary और compensation packages को रखेंगे लेकिन आप जो फॉरेन लोकेशन की और फॉरेन असाइनमेंट की चैलेंजेस हैं और उसकी जो रिक्वायरमेंट्स हैं उनको भी आप अपने कॉम्पेंसेशन uh, पैकेज के अंदर किसी तरह से उसको एडजस्ट करेंगे एंड दोज आर गोइंग टू बी द एक्सपेट्रिएट टाइप बेनिफिट्स व्हिच मे बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फॉरेन इंड्यूसमेंट अलाउंस और इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हार्डशिप अलाउंस और इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अदर टाइप्स ऑफ अलाउंसेज एंड बेनिफिट्स but it is going to be a combination of both the global requirements and the local requirements. And this is something which we are trying to achieve in the international human resource management context throughout all the processes. It's not just limited to compensation. When we talked about other aspects, it, we have discussed that there has to be a combination of being global as well as acting local. And that is something which is being applied to the international compensation context in the form of this local plus approach of compensation packages. So this is a combination of both the two elements. It does not usually, uh, it typically uh, does not include the cost of living allowance, mobility premiums, hardship allowances, similarization visits, home leave, cross-cultural training and other pre-departure or spouse assistance allowances. It is not, it, uh, as in the traditional approaches to, um, to the going rate approach and balance sheet approach, these allowances are given so explicitly. In the local plus approach, they are not actually addressed in this way. They are actually made a part of the compensation as a general following of the psychological contract of the employee with the organization and uh, such type of differentiated benefits they are not paid in the local plus approach basically the home country structure is followed and then there are some expatriate type benefits which are included in that compensation package but it is something which is more of an organic nature less structured less mechanistic more, uh, uh, it is something which is more flexible to the environment, more flexible to the changing environment 
and something which is more fluid in nature and not something which is predefined as a a priori hypothesis that okay this is the way this is the approach that we are going to take and these are the different um, allowances and sets of payments that we are going to make to the person it is going to be according to the requirement uh, of the organization the requirement uh, which is the strategy of the organization and the local context is also going to be taken into account so this is basically the uh, spirit of the local plus approach that it is an organic fluid way of compensating the employees which actually comp which calculates the amount of payment which is required to be paid not that you need to follow some approach but what is the requirement and what is the psychological contract of the employee who is working for you how much that person would need to be compensated for and in what ways that compensation needs to be done so this is basically the approach of local plus approach of compensation packages in international context.